<laughs> What's your name? Where you from? Rusty Weedna from Jackson, Michigan. Woo! How far is that, Rusty? It's about 90 miles. Wow. Is that, is that where you live? Yes. It's a long drive, my friend. Yes. Well, I met a woman, uh, I guess, a couple months ago, and she sent this to me on Facebook, and she says, Rusty, you're exactly what they're looking for. Oh. Well, what, what do you consider exactly what they're looking for? They're looking I have no idea. <laughs> she told me, she said they're looking for actors, comedians, singers, yeah. musicians, and MCs. All right. Did you look it up at all to see what the show is about? Or I anything? went on, uh, she sent me the link, so I went and uh, looked at the website. So you're a comedian? Yes, I am. Make me laugh. Make you laugh? <laughs> well, I just got back from Vegas. You ever been to Vegas? No. Just, oh, I just got back from Vegas. They got all my money. Oh, well, <laughs> that was at the Bunny Ranch. I didn't even make it to the casino. <laughs> you know it's $5,000 for some loving at the Bunny Ranch? $5,000. Of course, they say it's different when it's a professional, right? Let's see. She told me that she loved me, and she never comes so hard in her life. Huh, she's a professional woman's what she was. <laughs> <laughs> my ass was a little sore when I left the bunny ranch that day. <laughs> then it dawned on me, I was in the wrong damn room. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a joke. <laughs> But what I was planning, I was going to tell you a quick joke and then give you maybe a few excerpts from, from a, few, a few songs. Awesome. If that's... It's close. She's a pretty little liar and her pants are on fire. That's why she can't keep them on. He's a little Peter Peter and a little Peter Eater. He can't leave his Peter alone. There's one of them. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to argue and I don't want to hear you, bitch. I don't want you to prove to me you're a crusty old witch. Lots of things I don't want, you know that's true. And I don't want another day with you. <laughs> well, I sang that song for a friend of mine and his wife, and his wife got pissed. She goes, well, you sang that from the man's point of view. You need to do one from the women's point of view. I said, what makes you think a woman's got a point of view? Whoa, she come unglued there. I said, I'm joking. It's just a joke. I said, okay, I'll do one from your point of view. I'm a mouthy Hi. bitch. Oh. <laughs> she didn't like that one either. I'm a mouthy bitch. Actually, it started as a man's version. The, 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 the first part is actually a man's version, and, and it... It got evolved into a, a women's version as well, <laughs> which the women's version is way better. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course it is. I, dude, I love you. I think you're, you're funny. You bring good energy. Um, I worry that you're 90 miles away because, you know, there's going to be some sort of commitment, you know, in doing this stuff, but... I do paint and drywall, um, but I've been doing stand-up for seven years, and I just went to the Funny Bone and did the dojo with Chili Chalice. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with Chili. Oh, yeah. Um, I told Chili that I planned what my goal was to be a featured comedian, uh, my next goal. Yeah. And Chili says, you're going to have a really hard time being a featured comedian. I said, why do you say that? He says, because there's not a lot of headliners that are going to want to follow you. Oh. The pros that know the feature is the guy that warms up the headliner. Right. Right, right. <laughs> Only issue. I feel the same way you do. I feel that he's funny, he's entertaining. But when he, someone comes into an audition telling me that someone told him about it and and he should be there, if, if it, it's okay to say someone told you about about it. But what I feel is you should say someone told me about it. And I'm so excited to be here instead of like, well, I don't. It's almost like you didn't know why you're here. Someone told you about it. So how committed are you? I drove 90 miles. I was yeah. here at 11 o'clock. Like, like, well, well, I don't know. I guess, it's well, I, I, guess I guess if you knew that there was some a TV show going on and you felt you got you bring it inter entertainment value, you showed up to an audition. I, yeah, I'm cool with it. You know. Okay. You guys want to vote? <coughs> you want to get comments? I think I, I like you. I think that you would bring a lot to the show. I think you're different. I think that there's a different market that you would bring in. He is and and um, funny. Well, thanks. I think you're what you show personally. I think they need you. And I think you need to go on TV with your, your string sticking out. I know. Like, yeah. 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 Your, your yeah. octopus guitar. It needs, I, say, I say, it's just like me. It needs a haircut. No, <laughs> Man it is just, <laughs> just It's like you know you ran here from talk, If you're going to come out with the strings, talk about it. Right, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because of, of you know, 
you go, you know, talk about it at least. Wendy, what do you say? I'll say yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Four yeses, brother. Congratulations. You're through. Right on. Thank you all.